Ready, go. Ready, go. So what happens is uh, in the back swing, mm -hmm. you have a lot of wrist cock here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the club goes down mm -hmm. quite a bit. And then, Chicken so from, from this position, mm -hmm. if you look at the club head motion, mm -hmm. at the beginning of the down swing, it'll go up here. Mm -hmm. Like this. So from this big back swing motion, you're basically letting the club head go up here. Mm -hmm. That means you have a casting action. Ah, mm -hmm. So then what happens is because of this early motion, mm -hmm. you'll come down quickly to mm -hmm. the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, to prevent that, you have to pull the hands in. So that's why you get the chicken wing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you let it go early out, mm -hmm. away from your body, mm -hmm. then if you keep going that way, then you will have really a bad, mm -hmm. bad shot. Mm -hmm. Then you have to pull it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to uh, bring the club closer to your body down here, and then so that you can uh, extend your arm here. Okay. For that, instead of a quick motion like this, you have to use the whole body mm -hmm. and go around and from here you have to use your body more okay. instead of this quick mm -hmm. uh, wrist action here. And so you see how, how high the clip goes here. Mm -hmm. So more than anything what we need to do uh, is we, we have to uh, move the clip head at the beginning of the down swing close to your body. Mm -hmm. So keep the clip close to your body mm -hmm. and then just let it go on this mm -hmm. side instead of have a quick motion up here. Okay. Close to your body as in like right there. So when you have a back swing, mm -hmm. it's okay to uh, go this far. This is okay. Mm -hmm. But on the way down, bring the club more, more this way here, and then let the club mainly pick up speed here. Mm -hmm. So instead of from here, let it go high up here, mm -hmm. then it'll come down a lot. Mm -hmm. So, so for that, for that, let's. Um, so more than anything, what's important is in your case the timing. You have to have enough time up there. Mm -hmm. Instead of go up and then quickly coming down, you have to give enough time here and then let it go. A little bit of a yeah. So just first a dance with me a little bit. Okay. I want to see how good a dancer you are. Uh oh. <laughs> Where's the beer? <laughs> <laughs> so stand on those two mats okay. here. Okay. Initially put the arms here. Mm -hmm. And so from this position, slightly uh, lean forward. Mm -hmm. From here, shift to the left side here. Mm -hmm. Just the uh, just shift. Okay, sure. Shift, and then in doing that, if uh, your upper body leans this way, you have a problem. So while the pelvis is going this way, mm -hmm. your upper body is more going this way. Here. That's what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing here. Mm -hmm. So on the, on the right side, your, your pelvis moves uh, to the right, mm -hmm. but your upper body is staying here. Mm -hmm. And then going here going here. So in other words, your upper body won't move that much. Okay? This doesn't move that much, okay. but your pelvis can move quite a bit both ways. So try to have a, a little bit of reverse pivot posture. So, okay. so you're leaning slightly backward here, okay. and then go here and slightly leaning backward. Keep going this way. this way. Then you will be able to move the pelvis quite a bit. Yes, that's, that's good. That's a good motion here. So then we can make it a rhythmic. So uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Yeah. And then, yes, so you have a little bit of up and down motion. This is good. Mm -hmm. So that will give you good overall rhythm. Okay. So again, here, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now let's put the arms down here. You can put probably palms forward here. The same thing, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then here, you can just swing, the, uh, let the arms move by using the body instead of intentionally turning the body. So still here, relax and then put the arms down here. Okay. And if you move the body, then the arms will automatically swing like this. Yeah. So you don't need to uh, intentionally turn the arms, right? So with that, swing 
swing, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So this is the general uh, body rhythm. Okay. You are actually moving your lower body quite well. So it's just <laughs> it's a matter of just uh, putting all this together and then have a good overall uh, uh, tempo and rhythm. Now, so swing the rope, you can probably choke up a little bit mm -hmm. right here. Swing the rope back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then again, make sure you have swing enough body shift this way. And then swing this way, swing this way, swing this way. But again, the upper body is not moving that much. It's, it's uh, mostly the lower body motion. And also when you swing the rope, mm -hmm. just give enough speed to the rope. So instead of using the arm and try to lift the mm -hmm. rope, just uh, throw it. When it has a faster speed, then it'll go around your body. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Swing. Make it a bit faster. Yeah. Yes. Woo. So when, when the rope has enough speed, yeah. then it'll automatically go around your body. It goes so around. you don't really have to worry about doing this. No, no. Just let it go and then it'll go around yeah. again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of uh, using the arms and then doing this, Try to turn your shoulders more. Okay. Give more shoulder turn. Make, make the rope a bit shorter, a little bit shorter than that. And then work with the rope. So feel the motion of the end of the rope. Hmm. Yeah, you're handling the rope uh, a lot better than most people. So here. When you give enough speed, let it go, bring it back, let it go, bring it back, let it go, bring it back, let it go, bring it back. So when you have enough speed, mm -hmm. the rope will automatically go around your body. You don't have to do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, here's uh, the tricky part. So on the way down, currently what you're doing is uh, your right arm goes up here and then try to bring it down. Mm -hmm. That's why the club goes here. When, when you do this, the club mm -hmm. head goes up here. Mm -hmm. So instead of go here and then try to pull it down here, try to add more shoulder turn at the end. Okay. So subtle mm -hmm. additional shoulder turn, extra okay. shoulder turn. And so your goal is not to quickly pull it down, but rather actually push this way more. Go enough this way. Yeah. Go enough this way. Got it. Yeah. Mm hmm Whoa. Bad? <laughs> impressive, impressive. <Okay. laughs> now, let's do uh, the arm action again. Mm -hmm. So this time the goal is swing and stay up here. Swing both ways up, 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 up. So instead of go and then pull it down, your intention is go up here, go up here, go up here. So let's give a bit more time there. Okay. So let's start from the left side. Go up, stay here. Mm -hmm. And then go up right here, the left right, left, right. So when you use the rope, have a similar feel. So during the back swing, your goal is to reach high up and then making this a shoulder mm -hmm. turn yeah. instead of go up and try to pull it down. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. So again, when you do the rope swing, both ways, the goal is to reach high up, mm -hmm. high up here. Swing, swing, swing. Ah, uh, now here. 
So instead of pulling it down, it. drop and throw up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so still snapping a little bit. So you have the image of the entire motion here. Mm -hmm. So you are not just uh, doing this, but rather let it go all the way here. Let it go all the way here. Let it go all the way here. So this is also a part of uh, the, the swing. Mm -hmm. okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now the swing motion is a lot smoother. Yeah. Instead of just pulling down here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, are in, you are including this part as well. So mm -hmm. let it go up, and then let it go up, right. let it go. So this way you fight the urge of pulling mm -hmm. this here. Mm -hmm. Toward the end of the back swing and then early down swing here. Go up and if you quickly pull this, the club head goes up. Mm -hmm. And then you shake wing to... Yeah, yeah, then you have to pull it in. Mm -hmm. But if you go and extra, yeah, the extra shoulder turn, wait, and then let it go all the way, mm -hmm. then you will have uh, less of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, again. Mm hmm Swing, 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 swing. Now, as you do, make the whole thing continuous. So, so this is a one continuous motion. So, mm, and then, mm, and then, mm, and instead of stop completely, stop completely. Very good. Swing. 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 All right. Yeah, the, the floor is uh, really good. Yeah, the, the pet that the rope is following is really good. That's a swing plane. So. Uh, so question, question that did better than him? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> I mean, that's really my only goal here is to do it better. <laughs> so the purpose of the rope swing is to develop consistent swing plane, right. and then at the transition have enough time, no rush. Mm -hmm. So um, it also helps that if you have the feel of going high uh, reach here, by adding extra shoulder turn mm -hmm. and then extra shoulder turn Watches. here. Yeah, instead of focusing on the pulling mm -hmm. here, you are throwing it out up and then out up. So that, that will change the, the entire swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Hmm. Yeah. Very good rhythmic motion. It is true that uh, Sandy is more athletic than you. <laughs> Made my day. So, so this is uh, how we use the rope. Yes. Okay. And um, and then we have just a short version of uh, the orange grip here. Mm -hmm. So hold the middle of the grip here. Mm -hmm. okay. No need to hold all the way down here. It's about here. Mm -hmm. And then, as if uh, this is rope, you will swing back and forth. But you don't have to swing hard, but um, feel the motion you just did. Mm. Yes. Now, what happens is you're bringing this down here instead of the casting. Yeah, throwing it out. Very good. Swing. 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 Swing, 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 swing. Yeah. So that will change the way you start the downswing completely. Yeah. This is really good. This is really good. So, so to show what you're doing, I will record it from this direction. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, swing back and forth. Swing. 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 Okay. So your body is moving quite well. Mm. Now, here's the tricky part. Now, as you uh, swing the orange whip, at the end of the back swing, try to minimize the bending. The bending of the whip. Mm. Mm -hmm. If it bends a lot, what it means is the head is trying to go this way, and that you're already forcing the grip going this way. So it just has to be a... Yeah, so go easy. Uh -huh. at, the, at the end of the back swing, go easy, and then let it go here instead of fighting. Okay, try to hold Speed it. Speed happens here. Mm. So here, let it go and then swing. Let it go and then swing. So if you have more time here, mm -hmm. then naturally the bending will decrease. Mm -hmm. So no fighting. Okay, you are, you are peacefully working with the whip. Swing, yeah. Swing. Swing. Swing, yes. As you do, feel the motion of the end of the whip. Swing. Swing, swing. Then what happen, What happened is if you pay attention to your arm position here, mm -hmm. the arms are a lot more stretch, uh, stretched here. And that's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Instead of going this way and then try to pull mm -hmm. this in. Mm -hmm. yeah. so now let's use the, the, the longer one and see how it goes. So this is longer, so it's a bit more difficult. Yeah. And again, you have to work with the whip. Okay. So particularly at the top of the backswing, mm -hmm. Try to minimize the bending. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now the way you are bringing the the whip down is really good. Instead of letting it go up. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's because you have more time up here. When you have more time here mm -hmm. with the, then it's ready for the back swing. Mm -hmm. That there's no reason to pull it and then throw the. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go. Up. Yeah. So just the here and let it go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring it back and then let it go. So this is the idea. Yeah. You change the way you start the down swing mm -hmm. quite a bit. Let me record from this direction. Minimize the bending at the end of the back swing. Mm -hmm. Swing, 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 swing. Now, look at this. So, where the, the end of the whip goes. On the way down, is going about here. Yeah. So, it's like a Drawing a sword mm -hmm. from the sheath mm -hmm. instead of try to cut something. Right. Yeah. So that's the correct motion that I just did. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It's a lot better now. You see how high the clip head goes. Mm -hmm. This is your initial swing. And then. Oh, that's, you are, my, that's my actual swing. Yeah, yeah. you are that's rushing down. Yes. You, are, you are rushing down. So the clip head goes all the way here. Mm hmm. And uh, you don't have much time mm -hmm. here. So as soon as you go here, then quickly try to pull mm -hmm. it down and then let it go. But now in this type of uh, swing here, so go up here. You see, it's coming down oh, yeah, this way. Right. It's a lot closer. Arms are straight. Mm. Uh. Just letting the letting the whip go. Yeah. This is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So there's no reason to fight. Mm -hmm. Let's go all the way here. Just him. I just need to fight him. <laughs> Not the club. Is what I hear let's you say. go saying. all the way here <laughs> and have enough time here. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just let it go. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is what we need. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the club swing here. So now, as you swing the club, mm -hmm. oh, the head is pretty heavy here. Mm. As you swing the club, mm -hmm. again, 
think that you are using either rope or the orange whip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when you swing the, the club, as the club goes here, mm -hmm. wait until the rope goes around your body, right? right? Kind of yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that timing alone can yeah. change a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your club, I think at the center of mass is more shifted toward the, the end. Can you talk about my club, Stan? This, uh, what, do you know the swing, swing weight of this? Uh, I know it's probably not heavy enough for it. The, no, the center of mass is shifted to the, to the end. Mm -hmm. So uh, the swing weight is probably a bit higher. So you feel the head is heavier. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It felt lighter than mine. It's a relatively new club. So what you can do is... Um, Try something like this. You can put the additional weight on this side. So it's called a. So you think it's, un, it's imbalanced? It's too heavy on this side. Ah. Then you lose control. Ah. Yeah. So um, I think I'm adding something on this side here. So balancing. Yeah, if you oh, have. I a, just need to get a new, new driver. It's called the counterweight, but the, when, then center of mass moves a bit closer. Overall, it will become heavier if you add something here. Obviously, it become he becomes heavier, but, but the center of mass moves a bit closer. So it's a, a bit easier. Oh. This is a light, but the head is too heavy. Oh. So that's why sometimes you lose the control here. Oh, okay. okay. So. Uh, what well, here I'm saying is not me. Bad shots, it's the club. The, mm -hmm. the whip, orange whip yeah. they used is almost balanced here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's a heavier, but it's almost balanced. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but anyway, so when you swing this again, mm -hmm. uh, overall you need to have a good control. So uh, swinging hard is not the goal here. You have the consistent motion. Throw, 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 yeah. Throw. And then at the end of the back swing, give a little bit more shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. So that instead of fighting here, let it go. Uh, on this side too. Mm -mm. Yeah. So let it go. So add, remember this one here. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And then swing mm here. With that, we added a little bit of uh, more turn, right? Mm -hmm. As turn, and then wait, and then let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. So. Um, if you bring the center mass a bit closer to uh, the handle, mm -hmm. it'll be a lot easier to uh, swing. It. Yeah, and at the same time, uh, the orange whip type uh, devices uh, there are different things, but the, some some are really heavy on the end. Mm -hmm. It's hard to swing mm -hmm. because it's too heavy yeah. on the head side. But the, so if you add something here, so counterbalance a little bit, then. The whole thing will become a bit heavier, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it'll, it'll be a lot easier to handle. So uh, you don't lose the control here. Wow. If the end is, uh, the center is too mm -hmm. close to the, right. to the tip, mm -hmm. then you lose the handle. And then overall, your goal is to uh, have swing motion like this, and then let it go. Add the extra shoulder turn here, and then keep the club along this path here. Now going this way, mm -hmm. here, and then let it go. Let it go. Instead of pulling this, mm -hmm. letting it go this way, mm -hmm. just to draw a sword from uh, the sheet. Let it go. Let it go. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the what you, what you need to experience. Okay. So again, no rush at uh, at the top. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and then when you give enough uh, shoulder turn, then you don't have to use your arms a lot. So here, at the top of action, let's go up. Mm -hmm. So here, if you lean this way, then it's hard. So you have to keep the body slightly this way. Uh -huh. Then you can add the extra oh, shoulder turn here. So you're yeah. really shifting your weight already up there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I push down here, mm -hmm. you have good support. You have good foundation uh -huh. here. Yeah. But if uh, your upper body leans this way, mm -hmm. When I push, then you have a lot of burden yeah, yeah, yeah. on the back. So, uh, mm -hmm. mm. yeah. 
So now, let's go to uh, the step drills. Okay. So we will use uh, stage three okay. here. Stage three, so essentially it's the same to a continuous swing, but we'll do this a cycle by cycle. Okay. So from here, throw the club toward the target first, mm, bring it back and then swing. This is one cycle and come back. Mm, mm, swing, so another cycle, mm -hmm. come back. So it's called a stage three. Yeah, so again, the whole thing should be rhythmic. So, so you have to uh, build a good overall rhythm. And then instead of here, when you start, instead of using the arms, just to try to turn the body. Uh -huh. So hold it here, and then throw this by turning the body mm -hmm. instead of the arm going like this. Mm -hmm. So mm, the body turned. Mm -hmm. From here, just to turn the body quickly, then you will go to this position here. So turn the body, turn the body. We have this inclined uh, spine here. Mm -hmm. This is the axis here. Mm -hmm. So about the axis, just to turn the body, turn the body, including the lower body. Yes. Yeah. Swing. That's one cycle. That's one cycle. Uh, so from there, throw, uh, trigger, bring it back, swing. Okay. <laughs> and then... So when you, when you do the trigger and the backswing, mm -hmm. make sure you don't use your arms a lot. Okay. So again, hold it here. Trigger, bring it back. As you bring it back, use the body turn instead of. Got it. Still just using arms. Yeah. Mm. Less arm motion, but try to turn the whole body. Swing. Yes, that's the one side. Yes. And then, when you go to the backswing, mm -hmm. no need to snap it. Just the turn the body. Yeah, just the turn the body. Swing, yes, one cycle. So look at the timing. Look at the timing. Now you have enough time here. Mm -hmm. You are not rushing, so that there's no reason to use arms a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when the body turns enough, it's a good body turn here. Mm -hmm. Then, mm, turn here and then swing. Mm -hmm. mm, body turn and swing instead of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So use the body more. Mm -hmm. Even the trigger is too big, I think. Uh, so instead of going this far here, keep the club oh. about here. Yes. So, swing, yes. You see, now you're swinging really hard. That's good. Okay. On the way down, you can swing hard, yes. It's because you have enough time at the top. Yes. Mm -hmm. Swing. So let me, let me record the stage three and then compare with uh, your initial swing. Okay, ready, stage three, ready. Ready, go. Okay, ready, go. My problem is that when you move, I, my camera also move <laughs> with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. This was your initial swing. Mm -hmm. So you let it go and then try to turn the body That's later. That's right. Mm -hmm. But now, see, yeah. body turning and then you're letting it go. Mm -hmm. But still you have a tendency of using the arms. For sure. So this is something you have to uh, work on. Yeah, mm -hmm. constantly work on. So. Feel the, feel the motion of the club head. Sometimes just relax your arms mm -hmm. and the turning the body guide the club head. 
then you will be able to feel how the color wave is moving. Mm -hmm. More than anything, you have to know how the color wave is moving here. And if you add more motion, automatically the club goes here, right? Mm -hmm. So easy motion back and forth instead of using the arms here. Mm -hmm. Just turn the body and then bring it back and forth. In other words, uh, this motion is uh, supported by the lower body. Mm -hmm. Swing, 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 and let it go, then you're here. Mm -hmm. So practice this. So uh, swing back and forth several times, easy. Yeah, feel the, feel the motion of the club head. But at the end, at the end, no fight. Just let it go, okay? Easy, and then feel the motion of the club head. Swing, swing, body turn, shoulder, the, the pelvis turn, and the shoulder turn. Turn the body, turn the body, turn the body, and then have good wind up. Swing, swing, yeah. yeah. So just a matter of uh, mm -hmm. sort of uh, reprogramming your, your body motion so that you don't rush. Mm -hmm. Don't ever try to throw up mm -hmm. and then try to lay the turn. Mm -hmm. Rather, from here, draw a sword from the sheet and then swing through. Mm -hmm. So go up here and then swing through. Mm -hmm. For that, you have to have enough time up mm -hmm. here. This makes a big difference. Right. And as you get used to, to this rhythm, mm -hmm. then you will be able to add effort in dancing. Mm -hmm. So that in order to swing hard here, you just add more wind up here. More wind up and swing. Mm -hmm. More wind up, swing. Instead of just go here and try to mm -hmm. swing hard. You got to get the momentum. Yeah. If you want to swing hard here, before. then you have to have more wind up. Mm -hmm. So mm, let it go. Mm, let it go. Mm -hmm. And then, particularly when you start using the legs, then mm -hmm. this becomes a lot easier because the body is turning. Body is mainly, the whole body's hitting the club. Yeah, mainly driving everything. Mm -hmm. And then your arms are following, and then finally you add mm -hmm. the arm motion. Yeah. So go easy and then swing back and forth. Feel the rhythm and then feel the motion of the club head. Keep a more turn to the right. Try to increase the body turn more. Yes. Let's do this. So uh, swing back and forth maybe about three times. Okay. And then let it go once. Okay. And about three times and let it go. Mm -hmm. And then about three times and then let it go. So that way you will be able to prep your body Swing, swing, let it go, yeah. That way you can really let your body to feel the, yeah, yeah. the flow. So don't ever try to rush down. Mm -hmm. Always uh, when you rush down, you tend to use your arms a lot. Okay? So, uh, and then uh, I truly think that... Uh, we'll do that. We'll get that down. Mm. If you keep something a bit heavier here, mm -hmm. the whole thing will be better balanced. So you just take it off and they put the weight in here? Uh, I don't know what they use, but the, or you can just put the lead tape, oh. lead tape at, at the end here. Oh, I see. Yeah, so whatever you can do. To make it a little more balanced. Yeah, the problem in these days is that, you know, the shift, the shaft gets uh, lighter and lighter. Mm -hmm. But the head does not. Head weight does not change much. Mm -hmm. Or you can add additional weight to the head. Mm -hmm. right? But we already have too much weight in the head compared mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. shaft. Mm -hmm. right? So because the shaft is too uh, light. Mm -hmm. So then if, if the center mass is uh, close to the end of the mm -hmm. club, then it's hard to manipulate here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it's uh, better balanced, then uh, yeah. you, you'll be able to time everything a lot better. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you, it, uh, time to get the new. <laughs> and then another way we can do for the moment is uh, choke up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, make, make it a bit shorter, then it'll be easier to uh, control. Swing, swing, uh, feel the motion of the head. Yes, yeah, swing. 
And then in, in doing that, use the legs. When you use the legs actively, then uh, you can maintain the balance better. Look at the swing. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, when you start hitting the ball, mm -hmm. just to be patient. Yes. You know, when you have new pattern, initially the impact may not be accurate. However, you can quickly uh, uh, refine the impact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do now is we'll use the stage three and your regular swing. Okay. And from now on, you will do this a lot more while playing golf. <laughs> After a good shot, you have a high five. That would be great. <laughs> So stage three first, and then your regular swing, and as if uh, there is a ball there, okay? Mm -hmm. And then now approach it to the ball. Oh, now a lot better, yes. Okay. And then, so in doing in the back swing, instead of just having quick arm motion here, try to use a body turn, mm -hmm. and then throw this, and then have this uh, large back swing, large enough back swing, and then let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, uh, there's a tendency of uh, rushing here. Okay. So one thing important in the regular swing is that you have to shift laterally first and then throw the club and so that let it go okay. this way. And then your goal is to have enough backswing here. Mm -hmm. Before you have enough backswing, do not go down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, more time here and then let it go. And then what we'll do is let's, let's use a three-step approach. Okay. Full stage three. Mm -hmm. That means that you have a large trigger motion here. Mm -hmm. The second one is a mini stage three. Mm -hmm. So you have a smaller trigger motion and then bring it back here. Mm -hmm. So now the trigger motion is reduced, mm -hmm. but the, time, the timing should be the same. Mm -hmm. So whether you have a large trigger and then going back here mm -hmm. versus a small one and then going back, Still the same. Your body ready yeah. So although this motion is smaller, but you are still using your body. Mm -hmm. Body and then using the body, let it go. Mm -hmm. And then regular swing, again, using similar body motion. Okay. Also, what will help in that is saying something. Mm -hmm. Like a, ooh, Vijay Singh. Okay. This is typically what I ask them uh, to do. Mm -hmm. Vijay has the exaggerated Vijay. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, Vijay Singh, these have accent. The accents are when you push the ground here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Vijay Singh. Okay. So small trigger motion. Yeah, so uh, first uh, full, full one and then mini stage three, but still internally. Whoa. <laughs> but again, full stage three first with a big. Oh, a full stage. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it, got it. So full stage three, mm -hmm. mini stage three. Oh, I'm doing and, two. And right, the regular, steps. yeah, three, three yeah. steps. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then regular swing. Yes, that's a, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Because just, you're not rushing, so uh, mm -hmm. it just makes everything mm -hmm. a lot easier. Tempo. Yeah, still your backswing is large enough, so maintain that. Mm -hmm. And then when you have enough time here, and on the way down, you don't throw. But okay. go here and quickly try to pull mm -hmm. it down, the club has yeah, yeah, yeah. lifted up. Okay. So let me record this. So full stage three, mini stage three, and the regular, okay. Okay, ready, go. Ooh. And then, if you look at this one here, in the regular swing, at the beginning, you are flipping the oh. club. It's just simply let it go. Mm -hmm. So full stage three, swing. Then mini stage three, swing. Let's see, if you start this way. But oh. by shifting the body and then throw the club. Mm -hmm. And with that, make a mm -hmm. big arc. Mm -hmm. So again. All three. Mm. Now let's try to do this. 
So in the full stage three, bring the club about this high. Okay. Mini stage three about this high, 45 okay. degrees. Okay. So essentially, because we, we need to move to uh, the regular swing, so we need to reduce the yeah, swing. And the mini stage three even smaller. Swing, and then regular swing. Yes, but the timing is a lot better now. So when you have this uh, earlier casting motion, mm -hmm. it's hard to control the motion mm -hmm. here because you just uh, let it go. Mm -hmm. But if you draw the draw a sword from the sheet, then you're maintaining the control here. Mm -hmm. So even at impact, just let it go here. Mm -hmm. But if you do this, you will never know what's going to happen down You're here. You're saying throwing the sword from the sheet. So mm -hmm. it's like. It, you're, you, you're, you're so more, more pulling the club along the shaft here, mm -hmm. rather than try to cut something here, mm -hmm. letting it go out here mm -hmm. versus this motion here. Mm -hmm. Then when this happens, you are maintaining the control here, and then let it go here. Mm -hmm. So naturally, the arms will be stretched mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. But if you let it go up here, then mm -hmm. this you happens. You have to do that to hit it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, full stage three. Oh, in the, when you do the full stage three, make sure you turn the body more here okay. instead of using the arms only. Yeah. Oh, that, good? that trigger was really good. good. That trigger was really good. Yes. So when that happens, when that happens, because your body turned here mm -hmm. using the body turn will bring it back. Mm -hmm. And then when you do the mini stage three, although the motion is small, but you are still turning your body, mm -hmm. with that you can turn the body. So then had the yeah, so the in the trigger motion, use the body turn. Mm -hmm. That's, that was really good. Ah, this time it was a more arm. So when, yeah, so when the wrist goes like this, mm -hmm. there is a too much arm motion. Mm -hmm. So you have to turn like this, mm -hmm. and then go about here. Okay. Then the body is turned. Mm -hmm. And the shoulder is uh, turned about 90 degrees. From there, you can, you can turn the shoulder to do the backswing. Yes. Swing. Yes. Now in the backswing, you are turning your body a lot better. Okay, good, good. And then the backswing is bigger. More than anything, you are not rushing here. Yeah, yeah. So that's why uh, it, this control should be a lot easier. And try, um, dip, let's see. So this one, mine is uh, balanced about here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yours, mine's way mm. down there. So try this one here. Okay, choke up on it. How about the length? How, how much uh, difference in the length? It's not much at all. Mm. So you can choke up and then Regular. swing. It'll be a bit easier because, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it, the, the motion looks a lot more uh, comfortable. Yes. That's a heavier. But because the center of mass is uh, closer to your hands, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to ma uh, manage. Yes. Yeah. So part of the reason why you developed this motion is because the center of mass is uh, close to the end of the club too much. Mm -hmm. In order to handle this, you have to use this motion here. Mm -hmm. Especially and then, if you don't have it balanced right. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why. Mm -hmm. So just uh, having the center of mass See? Oh, yeah. If, oh. If, I, if I hold a similar position here. Oh, wow. This is heavier on this side. Mine is heavier on the grip side. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. why it's easier to swing this. Well, there you go. Regardless of the weight, the overall mass of the club. Mm. So nowadays, there's a tendency of using lighter shaft. But that means that the center of mass will shift to the so they pay club head. To Right? That is uh, more difficult to handle. Mm -hmm. oh, so uh, having reasonable balance is important. Mm. Okay, again. But that means uh, you know, yeah, before you, you, uh, you know, head back to Odessa, you need to buy a new club. New club? 
Well, look at that. The swing is a, swing. The swing looks a lot more comfortable there. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, the timing is a lot better. So then now let's actually hit the ball. Okay. You want to hit the ball with that or this one? Okay. So, so this time again, stage three, stage three, and then this time we'll actually hit the ball. Okay. And then no need to uh, try hit hard. But just maintain the same motion, then everything will happen we'll automatically. Three. Yeah. State three and then the regular swing. Mm. Just to deliver the color pad. Okay. Again. <laughs> so give more time. When you rush, then you have to use your arms. Okay. But when you have enough time, you tend to use your body. So it's easier to uh, let the color pad go. In the back swing, enough time. And uh, your goal is to let the club go through instead of putting it down there. So again, the whole down swing is going up and this way here. So from here, wind up, and from here, let it go all the way here. This is uh, the whole down swing motion instead of stopping here. So swing through. State, state three, and then regular. Yes. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. So when you don't rush, yes. when you don't try to hit yeah, hard yeah, here, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we have enough time here and then swing through, mm -hmm. this happens. Yeah. Only when, when you hit the ground, mm -hmm. it's because you're pulling it down. Mm -hmm. Then later the club turns, mm -hmm. then already it's too low. Mm -hmm. So it hits the ground. Mm -hmm. But go here and then you are swinging through, mm -hmm. then you have less of that, right? Mm -hmm. State three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, swing through. Hit the ground again. So when you hit the ground, that means you, you did this. Yeah. Yeah. Habits are hard to break, aren't they? And particularly when you have uh, the ball here, mm -hmm. the, always the, the, the hormone the kicks in. and then <laughs> So you have to fight that urge. Yes, swing through it like that. Yeah. So that will have give you a lot cleaner impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is the one you need to practice a lot. Okay. So let me record this. Uh, with the ball. Again, make sure that uh, you maintain similar rhythm, no rush, okay? okay? And particularly, no pulling it down quite a bit, but rather just to swing through. Okay, so ready. And then full, full step up. Hey, <laughs> rushed. Again. Again, it went too far down, and you try to do this. Tilted the casting. Mm. Get ball bound. So here, let's go and then turn the shoulder more here, mm -hmm. instead of dropping the yeah that that's good. Instead of dropping the clip it down a lot, okay, and swing through. Oh. So when I say go and then start, when I say go and then do the stage three, mm -hmm. and then regular swing, okay. So st stay three first, and then your regular swing. Ready, go. Mm. Yeah, this is better. This this time, this time it will be better. Okay. So as long as you fight the urge of uh, quickly mm -hmm. bringing it down, mm -hmm. then you have a smoother yeah. swing. So one more from here. Okay, so when I say go, then uh, do the full stage three and then regular. Ready, go. Yes, that's a good swing through. So the same thing, swing through instead of. Uh, yes, like that. That swing through. 
makes a big difference. Instead of trying to mm -hmm. try to pull it and then stop here, mm -hmm. it hits ground. But if you have a swing through action, mm -hmm. then the impact is a lot better. Mm -hmm. So this is something you constantly uh, you need to work on. Mm -hmm. Stan, it's your responsibility <laughs> to watch her. To get me a new golf club and then to and, uh, and she rushes and it's your fault. <laughs>